everybody. We just purchased a new tent, a new three-person tent. We like the space a three-person gives us as opposed to a two-person. So we are trying out the Nemo Dagger three-person. So I'm going to set it up, and then we're going to check out a few of the features, and I'll give you some of the technical specs. This is just a first look. We are super excited to use the tent. So anyway, I'm going to set it up and let you look at it and see some of the new features they have on the Nemo Dagger three-person tent. All right, as you can see, it's a pretty roomy tent. As we said, we like a little extra room. And as you can see, I have one pad in there. So that kind of shows you how much room would be left over if there were two pads in there. And if you'll see, so these poles have a natural bend in them here and then at the top, which gives you a little more headroom. So the floor area is 43.9 square feet. The minimum trail weight is three pounds, 12 ounces. Now remember this is a three person tent, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's a three season tent. The packaged weight, which is kind of what I go by, is the four pounds, five ounces. You can re reduce that weight a little bit if you leave your stuff sacks at home. It's also set up to where it's easy to split the weight. It has two doors, on each, one on each side. And it is a freestanding tent, meaning you do not have to use your stakes. Now, using yeah. the... Um, Rainfly you would need to stake out, but if it were a beautiful night and not a cold night um, You could definitely use Use it without the tent fly And you could get get away with not having to stake it out now What I also like about this tent is if you'll see the screen on the top is black So that on clear nights you can view the stars more easily, but on the sides it's white mesh, which helps increase um, privacy. The bathtub, as you can see, comes up really high. I like that to prevent um, splash from, from rain hitting the ground and splashing up. So I really like that. And you have a little bit of protection against wind, but it's not to so high that you can't get ventilation as well. Some other notable features are on each end, there is a light diffusing pocket where you can put a light in this pocket on the inside, from the inside, and it spreads the light out amongst the tent. There's one on each end. And then there is also pockets at each corner for your gear. So it gives you lots of room for storage to keep everything organized. It also has multiple little hooks on the inside, which can give you places to hang things, just to get things out of the way, or simply to put a light up, anything like that. Anyway, I'm really impressed so far with the quality of the tent. I think it will be very durable. And we're super excited to try it out. So I'll put the rainfly on just to show you what the rainfly looks like on. All right, as you can see, it sets up really nicely. Easy setup. And lots of space for four pounds. For four pounds, five ounces as the packaged weight, just like it comes. All right, I'm gonna take you inside. I'm gonna check it out. So, let's check it out. So as I was saying, there's on one end, the foot end, the light diffusing pocket. There's one on each end. 
in the corners there are storage pockets on all four corners there are hooks all along the tent on the mid seams for hanging items look right here there's some here and down there as we mentioned earlier the bathtub the seam of the bathtub actually comes up I don't have to look but that looks to be about at least 10 inches so that you do not have to worry about splash up I really like that I just love the roominess of this tent and as you can see the vestibule has sufficient room to store your pack or whatever else gear you might want out there I really cannot wait to go try this one out in a couple of weeks super excited about it I like how the seam right here where the zipper is it has that nice overlay and it also has um, the little vent you can put the little vent into use on the actual fly to help vent to decrease condensation and then you still have you know even with the doors both doors open you can you have quite a bit of space right there that if you wanted to store something or on this side if you wanted to keep things from being out in the actual elements we've always liked the Nemo quality so I, I don't expect this to be any different and I really really am liking the design of this so we will just have to see how it works out for us but I have very high expectations that this is going to work out great and the rainfly connects with the little snap just snaps into place and then you can change your tension on the rainfly with that so that does it for a first look at the Nemo dagger three-person tent we're excited to get to try it out in a few weeks so we'll give you our thoughts after we get to actually try it out but for now that's it talk to you later bye I woke up underground not a light, not a sound Threw my voice into the dark But the dark had no remark Just repeated what I said Claustrophobic at first Struck by hunger and thirst I stood up and looked around There was nothing to be found Just a world I couldn't see